Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the Adelmar race card for today. Um, partially, or almost fully inspired by uh, our own Kenny Hyder, who told me that he was going to be going down to Delmar for the day. And if I liked anything, to kind of let him know. So I took it upon myself to take a look at the Delmar card for him. And there are actually um, a couple of really, really good spots. Uh, Again, for everybody that's watching this video or the horse racing videos that I put out for the first time, uh, you know, this is almost certainly the highest EV you'll receive from me with all my different skill sets between, you know, stock market and poker and backgammon and, and daily fantasy sports and, and whatever else. And this is clearly the biggest edge you were going to get from kind of tailing or following along my various fields of expertise. And I don't bet as as heavy as, as maybe I used to, but, you know, I, I still believe that whatever I'm going to be giving you is going to be really, really high EV. Now, again, it's horse racing is high variance, so it might take, you know, several lifetimes for you to achieve your EV. But as I always say, I mean, if, if you're, if you're going to go, to the track anyway um you're certainly better off uh, betting what i tell you than what you were going to do yourself and yeah if you're, if you're interested in in you know including horse racing to your portfolio of your portfolio of degeneracy so to speak or your portfolio of gambling or your portfolio of trying to make money you could watch out for these videos along the way and uh again can't promise you you're going to win, but I certainly promise you're going to be getting good even spots. Now, the normal uh, caveats that go with this is that I'm doing this video long before the races. So where I do have the morning lines, I don't know what the odds are actually going to be. So, you know, if I tell you this is a good looking 20 to one shot, it goes off six to five. You probably don't want to bet it. I'm going to do my best to give you some guidelines to what price to look for, but that is certainly a caveat. You know, make sure you, you really don't want to bet anything until, you know, five minutes to post. At least you'll know to some degree what your odds are going to be at that point. You, you will get some late late steam coming at the very end, but not, not too much, especially at Del Mar where the pools are really big. So those are the caveats. And before I even get into it, I'll just cover it a couple of promos real quick. Um, if, if you want to bet on the horses, you could certainly bet on FanDuel or wherever, but you could do me a favor and, and sign up with XB Select. I've just been using them for so long and they've all been really good to me. And we have, a, a, I think, a promo code called that's true DFS that if you sign up with that promo code, you get something. I don't know exactly what you get, but you, def you definitely get something. Uh, and the other thing is that I will promote is uh, the, our daily fantasy site, True DFS, where you get all kinds of great daily fantasy sports content with me and Bobby Firestone and other other incredible experts uh, on there. So join that uh, if you're interested in daily fantasy sports. You get some. Uh, we have different subscription tiers and things that will help you make money and and more to the point, help, help you learn. Uh, about how to analyze things like this. All right, so let's get right to it. I'm not going to go into all the analysis of why I like these horses. I'm really just going to get right to it. Um, most of the action is going to come to the later races, but I will go through all of them. The first race, again, if you're going to be there anyway, um, I guess the six and the one are probably the two most likely winners, I suppose. Um, I, and I would not... I would not take the favorites, the two, the three or the seven. So if you're there anyway, you know, you want something to do and you want to bet the race, I, I would probably do the six and the one or something like that, but it's not the greatest betting race in the world. Um, speaking of not having a good betting race is, is the second race. The only thing I would say about the second race is I looked at this, that if you are going to bet the race at all, again, it, it so I know how it goes. So you go to the track, you want to bet every race. Just just bet the four. I mean, it's twenty to one. I mean, it's it's really. I don't really like it, but he, I have it just basically the same as everybody else. So 
if you get 15 to one on it, I mean, it's probably pretty fairly priced. I shouldn't say that probably wins a little bit more than his price will, will indicate. So just bet the longest shot in the race, which would be Carmel by the sea. But I, I would, in, in reality, I would, I would say the past um, race three. I thought there were some okay values, but nothing great. I'll just kind of tell you what they were. That would be the three, the four, the six and the eight. Again, nothing that I would bet unless you were just at the track and just had to bet every race. Um, but that is what I would do is probably just use those four horses. Um, and don't worry, we're getting to some good stuff. We actually, I have to have three really, really good bets today. I mean, really super, super duper values, but you have to earn them. You got to get to do this other stuff. Starting with race four. Um, I wrote down that pretty much everybody is equal and then maybe bet the two. Quick six flash. Again, this is not one of my actual good plays, but this is again, if you're at the track and you want to do something anyway, you'd want to bet the two quick six flash. All right. So let's get to the first really just super duper amazing value of the day. Um, I have three of them, and one of them is in race five, and that is Sunshine Babe. Uh, she is 20 to one, and I almost have her as the most likely winner. Um as, let me just actually confirm that. It, it, again, not, not that you shouldn't bet it anyway, but sometimes I just like a horse that's kind of like the same as the others, but it's 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 a big price. I think this horse actually is the most likely winner, um, even though it is 20 to 1. So, yeah. Then um, the next horses I have are the 8 and the 3. I think those are the two next most likely winners. Let me just again confirm the, the, these comments. But yeah, I think the three and the eight are the second most likely winners. But I definitely believe that the eleven is the most likely winner, ab with the absent any odds, and it's going off. Well, I don't know what it's actually going off, but it's uh, it's probably going to go off a three to one at the end of this. But uh, who knows? Uh, it's definitely the most likely winner. And we shall, uh, and we shall see. Um, let's moving on to race number six. Race six is another really, really strong play here. Um, and that would be the one Figuretti. Figuretti at 10 to one morning line. It's not exactly. It's not necessarily the most likely winner. I have it about the same as the three and the eight, but with these prices, the one is clearly a super duper strong play. So I like Figuretti. So, you know, if you want to look, in the, if, if you want to in the fifth and sixth race, bet daily doubles, you know, the 11 with the one, five, eight, nine, and then uh, three, eight, 11 with one, five, with the one. And then go back with 11 and the one. These things are going to pay just a lot of money to win if they come in. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead to race number seven. Race number seven, I no opinion. I think everybody's completely equal. Don't bet the race. Race number eight, uh, again, not a lot of value there. I just have the one, the two, the four, and the eight are all just kind of just Pretty efficiently priced. Wouldn't wouldn't really bet that. So uh, probably pass. And then, uh, if uh, so I like to say, if you have any money left, you want to save a little bit for the ninth race because this is my third best value, and that would be the eleven. Tis my princess. Um, at twenty to one, I think that's extremely strong. Uh, I do not believe that this is the most likely winner of the race. And I think it's important to make that distinction. Maybe it's not important to make that distinction. Maybe it is the most likely winner. I'm looking at it again. And you know what? I think it's safe to say that, well, it's about the same as the five. How about that? It's about the same as the five horse. And... A little bit better maybe than the seven but at 20 to one it's like a joke price if you want to know the truth so um 
And that's the end of the races. You, you have one, two, three, just super strong values. That would be race five, the 11, race six, the one, and race nine, the 11 at Del Mar. Hopefully uh, they at least give you a sweat. And um, again, uh, if you haven't already joined, join True, DF, tr join True DFS and all the stuff I mentioned earlier. Uh, good luck.